Now sentencing is underway for the man convicted of killing IMPD officer Breanne Lee. This is a crime that occurred back in 2020. Yeah, our Rich and I spent the day at the courthouse and he brings us the very latest. Karen and Anne Marie, this afternoon has been filled with emotional testimony from the family of Breanne Leith. And then earlier this morning, we heard from the family of the man who shot and killed Breanne. Elias Dorsey. Now back in February, Dorsey was found guilty but mentally ill of reckless homicide. In April 2020, he shot through the door of his girlfriend's apartment when officers knocked at that door. Breanne Leith was one of those officers. Doctors testified at trial that Dorsey had a brief psychotic episode. He was paranoid and thought someone was trying to kill him. Dorsey's family says he has great remorse and he needs treatment. <laughs> Told me that he don't he doesn't know if he'll be able to live with himself. And sometimes he's I, I ask him sometimes um one day, you know, will he be able to, you know, like forgive himself? And sometimes he says no. On April 9, twenty twenty, Mr. Dorsey killed two female officers. I work daily to work through my post-traumatic stress injury that Mr. Dorsey caused. At my worst, I have been on 200 milligrams of antidepressants, high blood pressure medication for my stress-induced high blood pressure, medication to sleep, medication to stop my panic attacks just so that I can continue with my work day. And that was Breanne Leith's best friend and uh, a fellow officer who testified about the severe mental health problems that she has suffered since Breanne was shot and killed. Now, just in the last hour, we've heard from Breanne's sisters and her mother. We'll hear from Breanne's mom coming up at 5 o'clock. We expect to have a sentence in this case in the next couple of hours. We'll check back at 5 o'clock.